So today we're going to talk about math and galaxies and how math is connected to galaxies. Now this first sequence that you probably have seen before is the Fibonacci sequence. I also want to show you that if you uh, invent your own sequence and nobody has ever invented it before, and if it's a, a useful and significant sequence, that you might actually be able to get it published online in something called the Online Encyclopedia of Integer Sequences. Six and 10, so add it together with 16. So 12, 26 plus 16 is 42. Very and so nice. This is probably one of the top five most famous irrational numbers is the golden ratio represented by phi. Now this probably looks pretty confusing because it's moving and it's animated. But some of you may recognize this type of mathematical calculation, it's called a continued fraction. Um, and in the spirit of math, you do study continued fractions. Now, okay, lots of great answers happening here. I'm gonna show the answers uh, for these challenges and several students have moved beyond these levels and started doing some more advanced things. And I think that's wonderful. So I'm just writing a few number of levels and I'm starting from bottom to the top. Yep. That's like the easiest way to do it. Yeah, that's the right way to do it is on a continued fraction is you start from the bottom and then go to the top. Now I'm gonna show you some other ways to calculate the golden ratio. This is to me, one of the most interesting things about this number. So I'm gonna show you four different ways to calculate the golden ratio. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what it's supposed to look like. And if you, if you think it's fun to draw this shape, I personally do think it's fun. It's like a fun doodle to do on your page. You can, you can try to make it as big as possible when you have a bit more free time. Uh, sometimes I find I try to get to 21, but I started in the wrong spot. And so I ran out of space. So that's great that you did it. Here's some extra reading for your interest. There's also the silver ratio, the bronze ratio, the aluminum ratio, and many more. And if you're interested in this type of math, then I think you should read this article. It's pretty interesting. It's not that long. So here are some examples of golden spirals in nature. This is a plant called the spiral aloe. And you can see that it is, somebody already mentioned a snail shell. And there you go. Weather systems, if you look at certain kinds of storms, you will see that they form into spiral shapes. Now, our galaxy is a spiral galaxy. So here is the song. Now, you can see that there are five different pieces, but actually, if I open them up, there are more than that. So up here, we have the melodies, the bass, the chords, the sound effects, and the percussion. We have one note. And then later on, we have two notes. Zero. Zero. I'll try to sing it too. Zero one. Zero one one. Zero one one two. And then later on, we also add some percussion. Today we learned how the Fibonacci sequence works, how to build and identify similar sequences, how to use the Fibonacci sequence to find the golden ratio, some other ways to find the golden ratio, how to use the Fibonacci sequence to draw a golden spiral, some examples of spirals in nature, and finally, how to use numbers to inspire music. So I hope you enjoyed the presentation. That's the end. I want to thank you very much for your time and thank you to Spirit of Math for hosting this.